just can't get comfortable in my bed. I just gotta keep rolling around. Ah! I guess I'll just get up three hours early. Hello, one and all. My name is Talaic, and we're back again with some more Spyro the Dragon. Last time, we had taken on the little demon dogs in our little dark past world over there, and then we took on the little fat chickens over in our world over here. So, as this little fool dances around like an idiot, we're gonna move on and go this way. I think up here is our, oh, whew, is our next level location, and I believe it may very well be the time trial of the level. I see flight. All right, now there's, well, maybe there is a skill point for Icy Flight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> um, let's see. No, no skill point, it's an achievement. What do we need to do? We need to beat Icy Flight without ever touching the ground. This is gonna be tricky. Oh, dang it, it was the wrong one. There we go. I don't even know why there's two of them, because you can just do that. Then again, I used to have a lot of trouble with those as a kid. I guess I was probably just an idiot, though. Well, I don't know. Maybe I wasn't the only one who had trouble with that as a kid. We got this. No touching the ground. Which, basically, in most of these flights anyway, the ground is just water. So if you touch the ground, you have to restart anyway. Ooh, the moon is nice. Alright, so we're starting with these. Oh, this one's down. I was gonna pass right by that. Can we go this way? Let me come back over here. I'm not sure how the game wanted me to do that. I don't think the game wanted me to do it like that, though. I think I was supposed to go this way. I bet I wasted a lot of time, and I'm not going to be able to finish this now. I was supposed to go do the trains. Oh, no! I should have gone the other way! I don't think we're going to win this one. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I don't think we're gonna make it! No, I missed! I don't have time to miss! So we did that way wrong. I have to say though, this this one is especially pretty. I love snow and cold and cold things and ice and the way ice is designed uh, in games and things and like I like to believe. I mean, this could be like just really pretty gra grass, but it also could be like lanterns made from ice. Though then again, yeah, it doesn't make as much sense because it would just melt. But. Uh, it's still pretty to look at. Mostly because I really like blue. Uh, which this is really perfect for me because I like orange and I like blue and they go well um, together. Because it just feels like lights at night, you know? Um, and so this level is just perfect because it's nothing but blues and purples and orange. A little bit of reds. And it's just all over ridiculously pretty. And the moon is really weirdly different in this world. God damn it! Stupid helicopter man. Now where do I go? Oh no, I don't know which way I came out of. I'm gonna go this way and pray that it's the right way!
Oh, damn it! Okay, first chest down here. Second chest up here. I made a mistake. Ooh, we are not gonna make this one. I do not have faith in myself! Thank goodness I turned around on accident because apparently I was just going to go the wrong way. Oh my lordy Lou. Alright, out of here. I just can't get comfortable in my bed. I just gotta keep rolling around. Ah! I guess I'll just get up three hours early. Alright. So we done so, did that so. Is there a level over there? Or is it just the... No, I don't think there's a level over there. I think it's just the cannon. Which means that we gotta take on Mr. Boss Man. Jack Hughes! Alright. So Jack Hughes... Oops. Is perfect, so we want to try to not take damage, which is hard because this is kind of a hard level. Um, and the... Achievement is to flame for the fly guys in one glide. But if we fail, we just have to die. Ooh, you're freaky. What are you? What? Whoa, that's cool. Now where are you going? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just kind of imagine him as Jack from Jack and Daxter. Just like, he got tired of running around killing everybody and he put on that fancy hat and he's just like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh man. Alright. He's got a little bell on his head. Lava. Wow. The question is, where's the spot to do that? There's only three on these pedestals. So it wouldn't do me any good to beat these guys. I'm gonna hold off, because I'm gonna go the other direction. Let's see if there's a spot where there's four of them. I didn't think I could find you. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. Alright, so you bring me over there. Three of you. Something is supposed to bring that down, I think, so I can glide over there. How many of you guys are over here? Is it just you? No, there is one over here. God damn it. Blame you. I knew it. Aha! Master of the level. Da -da -da -da. Unica. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Take care. What? You're not going to give me handy advice about the boss? Uh, 
Aha! Alright, I found where I'm supposed to do it. So the other guys can die. Let's hope I can do it. No! I refuse. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do it right. Next time. A dragon's bossy! Jacktacular! Are you proud of me, Daxter? Alright. See, we got, you know, one of those lives back. We got 50 lives, doesn't even matter. Ah, I was wondering what you were gonna do. Okay. Ooh, that's close. Now, I don't know if we can get the perfect skill point, though, since we, uh, died. Because I've gotten that skill point a couple times with different bosses, and I'm just not totally sure... Where does this one go? I'm just not totally sure what it means by perfect. Oh. Why did I need to do that? That was unfortunate. Because perfect might mean zero deaths, it might mean taking no hits at all, or it might mean no taking hits while you're fighting the boss. And I got the perfect skill point on, I want to say Dr. Shemp. Um, and I took damage in the level, I just didn't take damage when I was fighting him. So that might be the way that it just goes, but I'm unsure. Ooh. Thanks, mate. Uh-uh, I'm going over here first. Woo! Uh oh There we go. Just gotta knock you off your little... Fa Ow! You bastard. What? I hit you! Nailed it. There we go. It's like we never died. Because we didn't. Ooh, I love those purple ones. Just gotta say. 10 out of 10. Super pretty. Alright, so that's the way we gotta go. Which means this is the way we're gonna go. That defied gravity. Make sure there's nothing down and around. Well, that didn't work. Ow! You're an asshole. Alright, nothing over here. You. 
just gotta watch the stairs for gems. Here we go. You tell me about the boss, man. Fancy. Any advice before this battle? Advice? Hmm. A wise dragon once told me aim high in life, but watch out for flying boxes. Uh, huh? Mm-hmm. Can't touch me. Held it. Oh, I get it. He got stuck to this box, which made him a jack in the box. dropping any gems when I do that like the other bosses would have why should I even kill you if you're not gonna give me money Ooh. you're a little weirdo you know that yeah I've got the perfect there you go that's what I was looking for look at all that gem So many purple gems. All right, we did it. Spin of victory. And that means we move on to nasty North well level. Well done, Spyro. I hope you know what lies in store for you. Nasty's world is not the friendliest place you'll ever find. Are you ready to go? As ready as I'll ever be. Oh, I thought it was going to go into a second loading screen. I was like, what? Wait a minute. Ooh. This is very important. Eh. It's not the same, and I feel bad for hurting him. Need a lift? Nope, I'm good. This bothers me, though. This is the one level out of all the levels where you can't collect all the treasure all in one go. Because a bunch of the treasure is in those freaking dragon mouths. Hey, didn't I already free you? You're in Nasty's world now, Spyro. And you are the dragon that must defeat him. Bring him on. I'm ready. Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge the Nork himself. But I got 75 dragons. Why can't I just challenge him now? Alright, that's fine. Let's do Nork Cove. Oh, that uneven number! It's uneven! Five is an odd number! There we go. Going for the short loop. This is weirdly happy music. <laughs> little ballerina twirl. Hold on. Complete Nort Cove without killing any rats. Nort Cove, yeah. Okay, so we're not allowed to kill any rats. Tricky because I know where some of the rats are, but not all of them. Now, there we go. 
So there's a rat there. I want to kill you because I don't like having a blue sparks, but... Oh, you're not dead. Can't afford it. I want that achievement. Saved it. Good work, Spyro. I expect Nasty's really starting to worry about you. I'd be shaking in my Nork boots if I were him. Probably is. He just acts like he's a big tough guy. In reality, he's just sad because he has no friends. Then again, he must have incredible leadership skills to be able to create and rally all these troops. Have you hurt my little rat friends now, can I? <laughs> they are really cute, though. Oh, hi, little buddy. Look at that little face. Look at that little face. Look at that little face. Ooh, what was that? Be careful, little buddy. Oh, no! Doesn't count. Still haven't killed any rats. It doesn't count. Oh, I got my life back. Rat, this is your fault for getting so close to the chest. Baby twirl. Ah, I was thinking I need a firework. Oh boy, a bunch of reds. I kind of want a red though. I like rubies. I like really like rubies. Rubies and sapphires are easily my favorite. Though I think my birthstone is an aquamarine or something like that. Kind of boring. And down you go. Teeth. Ah, that's pretty good. Hey there, bucko! Wow! I never thought I'd be rescued! Especially by such a little dragon! Uh, what I mean is, I always believed in you, Spyro! You gotta believe! <laughs> <laughs> I just love that face though, it's like, Yaha! You gotta believe! Fucking asshole! <laughs> 
it's fine. Even the smallest dragon is stronger than the mightiest Nork. Okay, everything's looking good there. Yeah, I love things like that. And I've come to terms with the fact that in order for me to get that firework achievement, I am going to have to replay like 60% of the entire game. That is just unfortunate. I don't even know why they bothered putting a key on that one when you could just blow it up like that. I really don't want to hurt these rats. Now it doesn't even fucking matter, so fuck you, mouse. It's fine, I'll go back and get it later. Man. Oh well. Alright. Well, as you can see, this door is open now. Nope, still uneven. <sighs> Alright. Well, I'm really upset that we didn't get that mouse achievement. I will go back and get it on my own time, I suppose. Um. It was just kind of bullcrap that they put the mouse right next to the enemy that you have to explode. But luckily, it doesn't have anything to do with gems or anything like that, I don't believe. I should be able to just speed run through it. Hmm. And I'll just blow up the guy on the left and run past the other dude. To uh, avoid the mouse. Just imagine that in your brains. Pretend that's what I did. Uh, in the meantime, though, I gotta get running. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching again. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Uh, leave a like if you are. Let me know how I'm doing. Uh, and I will see you guys on the next